Greetings again, this is Dr. Bill Wyatt, and I wanna, I'm with the American Orthodox Society, and I want to talk to you just a few minutes this morning on a short video about uh, endodontics and how you can use these teeth uh, in orthodontics. In other words, frequently you will need to keep the tooth if you possibly can. You may be the only one in that area. So you can do the endodontic procedure. If it's a good endodontic treatment, you can use this tooth and it'll last for years. So I wanted to bring that out uh, this morning and show some of that about using endodontically involved teeth uh, in your orthodontic treatment. Uh, here's a lady we're already showing. Uh, you've seen her picture before in the closing space on adults, uh, but we're already into the orthodontic treatment here, and you can see the facial structure and everything. So I wanted to go back and show uh, the models, though, where we had <clears throat> move these teeth a tremendous amount. Uh, this is a closed bite right across here. See, and so we raised all those teeth up and uh, brought the lower front teeth down and the upper front teeth up, you know, and working off of all the uh, intruding arch wires that we've shown many uh, videos uh, on that. Uh, now, here, you look for at the side, and this jaw is trapped back here. Now she doesn't have a great deal of TMJ or, uh, problems with her, but where the lower teeth fit right up behind the upper teeth right here, and the upper teeth are coming down, and the jaw cannot move forward and frequently you'll have the uh, condyle will be pressing against this retrodiscal tissue back up here and causing discomfort or pain or really giving them a fit, you know, on something like that. So that's something you look for. And then uh, I want to show the x-rays and I'll also show you uh, exactly where we move these teeth. Now this tooth uh, right here has a, a root that's angled down like that and the top of the tooth is coming across like this. Now in, in a, a situation like that we come in and, and have the arch wire we come over and drop down somewhere along in here and like that. And normally it would go straight out, but we'll dangle it down. And now when you put that arch wire in a tube over here, uh, this arch wire will be angled up here. And as you pull this tube forward, it'll move the root in this direction, but be very little movement up here. Now you tie the arch wire back so the tooth won't back up. It would back up in here and be sitting in this area if you wanted to open it up uh, for some reason or another. And you can do all of this work with a tooth that's had the nerve taken out. The outside part of the tooth is is still vital. It just is had the inside has been removed and it's dead of tissue. And so just watch this tooth as we go and just remember this line and then level out, level out, and finally just place out like that. Okay. Uh, here looking from the top. I mean, look at the upper arch. You see where the lower teeth come up and bang into the back of this and it's worn this down 
we're going to actually raise these teeth and move them out forward uh, right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we, and this is uh, 11, 2000, so November 2000, we'll also line up these teeth. There'll be all kind of room for these teeth when you arrange the upper teeth uh, in there correctly. And uh, the dead teeth or the teeth that have root canals on them, if they're healthy, you can move them around and watch where we push some of these teeth. Uh, looks like a quarter of an inch, you know, and uh, they're still vital. All right, here we're just showing the mechanics of it a little bit. We've got just these little tiny brackets over there, and we're using some class two elastics. Looks like we got two class two elastics on that side, and we one over on this side. So in other words, when we open this bite up, there's all kind of room, so we have to back this up and move this forward to correct the class two, division two type orthodontics. And uh, this is a class two, division two, and you just almost never take any teeth out on a, a case like that. So we want to keep the endodontically involved teeth in there. So I'm going to go through this pretty quick and show you the teeth that we gradually move this by hooking the elastics and coming off of this, something like that. And it brings these teeth back to a class one relation. After we have opened the bite and you made some room now, you bring this back and this forward and correct the uh, main problem uh, with this case. Now let me go here a little further. Now here the upper teeth are lined up. You remember we had all kind of gaps and everything in that and we've got the teeth lined up quite good here on the, uh, just the uh, mirror shot actually. You, stick a mirror in the mouth and you shoot the picture from the mirror and that shows you that the same thing on the bottom now this crown here it was just a shell over another crown and it uh, when we move the teeth around sometimes it'll break the tooth or it'll be chewing in a different position and the occlusion will break the tooth off. So here we go. Now this is finishing that out and I'm gonna, you can see it's class two there and we'll bring this back and that'll move this point over here somewhere and uh, correct that class two. Okay this uh, picture isn't good so I'm gonna run on from that and that's just another shot of the upper. Now here's the lower arch and that's the crown that's got the enamel cracked off of it. Uh, and she redoes all this uh, crown and bridge work after we finish. Uh, okay, here is again. All right, here are the x-rays on the case. And that's where we will spend a little time in this. This lady is 48 and three months old. In other words, she's not far from 50. And before we finish, she is uh, 50 years old. And this is uh, 2000, actually November, November 2000. Now this tooth has root canals done down here. And we're going to want to, we'll move this tooth right here back a little bit, but primarily we want to move this particular tooth, the six year molar, right on up to the first bicuspid and 
have room enough to this tooth will follow in here. So watch this move forward now and you can you know, think it, it has pockets around it. Now over here we've got a decayed problem that uh, they'll have to take care of that uh, right there. They can do that so it's the endodontically involved tooth. And we're going to move this more in the forward direction. So watch the angle that this crown is and the angle that this roots like that. And we'll move this root up and keep this space right in here just about the same thing and just flatten this tooth out. And we're going to bring this one all the way here. And then this tooth will come down and function and we're going to leave a little space in here maybe we can get this tooth to touch this or else they should have a, a, a this uh, get an endodontically involved tooth and uh, have a replacement in that area so uh, anyway let's watch this take place now uh, this is uh, 2001 and we're still moving this but you remember this tooth was way back here and this let me just go back and show that that was where well, we've moved this up now and we'll close part of that space and you'll see <coughs> uh, this tooth the wisdom tooth will be underneath there when we get through. In other words, this will be sitting in here somewhere. And this one here will be back in here. And you'll have room for that tooth to come in place there. Okay. Uh, here I see they, no, they were filling in that yet. We brought this tooth that was tilted, and now they crown is fairly straight right there and uh, the endodontically involved tooth we're taking it up they ought to they'll have to do a filling on the side of that tooth but keep go ahead and keep the tooth and here we go uh, we level this tooth out completely and now we'll just bring these together and we've move this one about this far and now this gets tooth gets closer uh, to the occlusion now we never did get this uh, wisdom tooth contacting the one up above we let that we didn't want to keep her in braces but those teeth will erupt together she's 49 and a half right at this point uh, now here it is, it's 2002, and we just about close this. You see those intruding arches on there. And now this is the fifth panorex we took on the lady. And if you remember this wisdom tooth was way back from here. Now we brought this teeth up and this tooth is tilted back a little, but we have this wisdom tooth now it can come right on up in here and it'll have a little extension on it and this can come down and touch that later on as it goes through. Now we can't, I think this, I don't know whether it's the last panorex, but we'll have to put a little tip in this archway. In other words, you go up here, cross over and come back up and that the slight bend you have in the wire here will bring this root forward right like that. Okay, <coughs> let's go on to the next uh, slide here. And this is uh, six uh, panorex that we've taken. And this tooth is completely closed up this gap now. 
and this will heal up that person still has these teeth now and this has come that far and this tooth that was way back out here has moved all the way up in this area and this tooth with the six year molar had both roots done and it's moved all the way forward and this tooth is moved and this one is moved so you can watch uh, these teeth go if you've got a healthy root canal filling on them you can use them and we've done this for years and if it's a good tooth of course you could have the endodontics done over again if you needed to so I hope you see that you can use teeth that are endodontically treated in orthodontics and you can move them a heck of a long way like this tooth right here move from back here all the way up there and its roots are still vital and everything now it looks like you got pockets but the, you don't mess up the, the attachment and bone fills back in those teeth after they've been there for uh, just a few months. I mean, it'll start filling up immediately. So I'm going to think this is the last picture we'll show. And here the lady is, and we have uh, restored her mouth. I think you'll see her in closing space on adults. And, uh, this is uh, something we can do with people. We uh, restore the uh, missing teeth by bringing back teeth to the front if you've got the back teeth back there. So I'm going to say goodbye and we'll see you again. And I hope you'll get something from this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll check with you again. Thank you now.